Gym has reopened for a stellar high school football lineup yeah, tonight. Yeah, great games tonight. Next weekend, UC football is back too to that renovated home. And it's not just the fans who are celebrating. WLWT News 5's John London live right now at Nippert with fan reaction to the new stadium. John. Yeah, Mike, fans are getting a close look at the new look atmosphere here at Nippert. St. X and Covcath fans, you're seeing the teams out here on the field in the final seconds of the first half. We're going to show you now this isn't only the only facelift that matters. You go a few football fields east and you'll find an eye-opening experience as well. One glance around and you'll quickly see this isn't your older brother's short vine. They're shaking things up around here. Mio's Pizzeria has put its UC-themed decor where its investment is. My sister painted the UC logo on the wall. That was really great. We have 20 taps, which we're always changing, changing the, all the craft beers. That's the craze in Cincinnati right now. Kelly Gagan thinks of this area now as East Campus. Ladder 19's open where the old Zenos once was. The surge of new apartments, lighting, streetscape, and influx of students shouts safety wasn't always the case. And with Nippert reopening tonight, Short Vine is no longer on the avoid list. Just ask someone who's been remodeling block after block for four years. It was dead up here. It was dead up here. It was, uh, you know, like you're old over the Rhine. Four years ago, they didn't want to walk down this street, you know, and uh, we're getting it out there that it is a safe place to come, eat, drink. It took two years to renovate the old Holy Grail into HOE, hangover easy. Like short vine itself, it's becoming a magnet. Students love it. Doctors and nurses love it. People from the zoo love it. Lots of professors from the university love it. Three million bucks has been poured into the area. The unsightly electrical wires will start to go underground next month. So what did this risk taker sense back when folks would have said, Am I crazy? Maybe. But no, we saw the potential of this area and how close we were to campus and the, the revitalization money they were dumping into the street. The potential was huge. And now, thanks to the bricks and mortar men, it is being realized. It must give you a good deal of satisfaction. Oh, absolutely. So absolutely. years to come, yeah. right? Yeah. You can say we help flip that. Yeah. Yeah. And although they're pretty much finished here at the new Nippert for redevelopment, there's more Carl Carter like redevelopment along Short Vine on the south end of Short Vine. The renovation of the Coryville Kroger gets underway in about three weeks and Walgreens will be coming down. They'll be building a new one there. Reporting live at Nipper, John London, WWT News 5. All right, John and George and Elise in just minutes are going to have an update on that Covcath St. X game going on there on the field. In addition to the $3 million investment mentioned a moment ago, there have been tens of millions of dollars worth of new construction for living space in the Quarryville neighborhood.